Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's now Monday afternoon. It's still present this day. It's about 3.15, and um, I'm trying to finish this up. The project, uh, the Motorama project, is pretty much over at this point, and I gotta admit, I'm a little bit wasted. Um, the last three days have been pretty long. I've actually made three trips up to uh, Harrisburg and, um, and to Shane's and to Motorama, so that's a lot of driving, And but everything's home. Uh, and so what, what I tried to do here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and really produce three videos out of this. One is just kind of immerse you in the video, immerse you in the, in the physical uh, sights uh, and sounds of being at Motorama. So what's gonna follow here is just a series of small video clips uh, and some photos and it's, um, God, it's just a stream of consciousness. There's no theme to it. It's, I'm probably not very artistic, but it really does just show you sort of the visuals of being in around getting ready for and cleaning up uh, for Motorama. And then the second video is going to be kind of my discussions about it, and that will be a more of a desk side where I sit kind of like I am now or, you know, my classic uh, morning shots. And really just talked about my experiences and my thoughts of being at car shows and, and how that matches up with the YouTube video and what I saw, my impressions, um... You know some things I learned from doing it, the good and the bad, and 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 then the third video will be about the garage. It'll be a full garage update. Everything's home now, everything's in place, and it's really there's some video I took of getting everything home and get everything into the garage, and, and kind of how it looks now. So the really this is the first of three uh, in a series. Uh, the second one will probably come out sometime tomorrow morning. And the last one will probably be tomorrow night. I, I don't know. I may not be able to wait. The, it's filmed. So it's really a matter of putting it together and putting it, getting it up on YouTube. So um, for me, that's really the exciting one. It's getting everything here and showing it to you um, in, in one photo and then and, and how it looks in the garage. But anyway, again, this is the first of three. What you're about to go uh, see is a, just a, a visual stream of consciousness over the last couple of days. So... I pre apologize if it's if it just seems um jerky and it cuts from picture to picture and from uh theme to theme. It really is just meant to to show you what was it like to be in that place over the last couple of days so anyway, I hope it comes well. It's about fourteen fifteen sixteen minutes long with this intro now, so it's a bit longer than like my last few, but I've already cut a lot out and I cut it down quite a bit so I hope you enjoy it. Please comment. Please give me your thoughts. And um, I'm going to move on and start working on the second one. Bye, everybody. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's obviously early. It's Saturday morning, 4.42. Kind of ready to head out to Motorama. It's a couple-hour drive. Got all my junk sitting out here. Gosh. All this for two days and one night. But that's it. We, um... Out to the truck we go. All right, we're at the truck. It's pretty much loaded up, ready to go. Let's get in there and get started. Up. Off we go. The journey to Motorama has begun. I think we'll uh, spare you the two hour drive. Come back when we're there. here at Harrisburg. Sunrise here for you.
uh, almost nine o'clock Saturday morning. I just thought more than anything, I'll just show you this line. There's two of them. <coughs> this is the main entrance line, and there's one even bigger for the back entrance. It's kind of amazing to me that this many people are here before the doors even open. I didn't really expect that. This is the other line. Kind of amazing. I'll show you the front line. This is the back line. Incredible. You're in the first position, by the way. Literally the first car people see as they come in the line. It looks pretty good with the uh, Viper, head to head. All right, bud, I'll get you another one later. First time I've seen it. So it turned out pretty vicious. Parked right next to it is our Viper. It's drawn a lot of attention. You can see uh, Shane put the winglets back on. I wonder if on the ACR the snakes can bring the parks to not mind to post, but I thought I'd give you a walk around of Mike's truck as it sits here in the show. It's just ridiculous in real life. I'm trying to walk back show you the back here. Mike, somebody else is going to do a better job than me. I just wanted to get to you something from the show. Alright oh, guys, this will give you a walk around of Mike C06. It's pretty cool.
Phoenix. Home again is uh, Freedom Rocket here. Part of Westies. First time I've ever seen this thing in real life. It's kind of wedged in here between a bunch of other cars, so you can't get too wide a view on it. And I thought I'd just show it to you. Leaving. I'm in the Viper. There's the one LE. It's pretty loud right now. All the all the performance cars are heading out. Monday morning. It's President's Day. <coughs> it's President's Day. Please. A beautiful sunrise greets us as we once again get ready to haul. We are now doing our final pickup at InShane Designs. Got the trailer all ready. Shane should be here any minute. And we're going to pull that Camaro out of here and take it to take it to our garage. Which will mean our garage will be, everything we own will be in our garage. Alright, that's it for now. We'll show you, we'll get it loaded here in a little bit. And then we'll get it to the garage. And we'll finish up the Motorama video from the garage. All right, that was a limo that just pulled into Shane's at 7 a.m. on a Saturday. No idea what that's all about. Guys, I just thought I'd show you Shane finishing up the one at Levi's or for us.
348 is sitting here. It's amazing what I see when I come in here. True classic. Holy smokes. Alright, we are done. We are ready to go. The one LE is packed in, tied down. Ready to go. We'll say goodnight to her. We'll see you on the other side of the truck.